it's good to be alive right about now. Levidian Publications, Robert McCammon, Matthew Corbett. I'll say again, it's good to be alive right about now. And a special thanks to a fellow by the name of Brian James Freeman. Short story, I messed up. I subscribed to a deal and uh, an announcement came out saying that people who subscribe to a certain deal get a free book. And I emailed Brian James Freeman saying, hey, if I'm subscribed to this deal, do I get the free book? He said, yeah, sure. Go ahead and cancel your other order that you already made and you're good to go. So time goes on and it turns out I was subscribed to the wrong deal. And Brian James Freeman, when I asked him about the book saying, hey, I didn't get a shipping notification, he said, well, we had a miscommunication, but he hooked a brother up. He sent me the book anyway. What a fellow. Thank you. You might not be watching this, but thank you anyway. Maybe the vibes float around through the air and get to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A book I dang sure did not want to miss out on. And that is the book we're about to find out. The book we're about to open up. This is Robert McCammon's eighth installment in the Matthew Corbett series, making it what I believe to be the penultimate, penultimate, I had to look it up, book in the series. And for those of you like me, that means next to last, something like that. Of the Matthew Corbett series, a series in which I love. I, I, read, uh, I read Speaks the Nightbird. There's a limited edition version of that. I also have uh, the trade edition signed as well. But uh, I read Speaks the Nightbird almost begrudgingly because I'm really not a person who says, I want to read about 1699 um, continental or uh, uh, colonial stuff. Just, I don't know, nothing against it. Just, I don't read that kind of stuff, typically. But I like Robert McCammon, and I kept hearing people talk about Corbett, 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 and the series kept going on and on. So I said, I got to give this thing a try. And I read Speaks the Nightbird, and I loved that book. One of my very favorite books on God's green earth, Speaks the Nightbird. Loved the book. So I'm in. I'm ending the series. And I recommend those of you like me who say, you know what, 1699, 1700, 1704, colonial United States, colonial, I mean, that, that time period, if that doesn't really attract you, I still believe that you will love Speaks the Nightbird as shades of, of um, Sherlock Holmes, different, but comparable, and I loved it. Anyway, I love the series, and this one, the eighth book in the series, is now out, King of Shadows, and what I'm hoping is I got the limited edition version. And I asked I asked Brian James Freeman way back when, before I found out we had, had a miscommunication, if he could match my number to uh, Cemetery Dance Cardinal Black. And here's my number for Cemetery Dance Cardinal Black. Let's see right here what it is, what it is. There's my number 11 for Cemetery Dance. Cardinal Black. I also have the SST version, which I do love. And I'd love to see SST get a crack. Take a crack at King of Shadows. King of Shadows sold out in about seven hours. 750 copies in about seven hours for Levidian Publications at the price uh, 125 bucks. Great going, great job. It shows what an excellent publisher can do when they make a reputation in a short time for making very high quality books. And it shows what a beloved author can do when he develops a reputation for writing wonderful books, mash them up and books sell. Kinds of makes, kind of makes sense. Anyway, that being said, SST is also one of my very favorite book publishers. If I had to pick three, it's going to be at Sun Tup Editions, SST, Levidian Publications. I can't go wrong with any of them. Great books, great production, great service, good people running dim businesses, and uh, nothing but love, love, and love for all three. That being said, I keep slapping it, slapping it. I don't know what that does, but hey, 
I slap it anyway. Let's open this joker up and see what the fuss is all about. I've seen pictures on the interwebs and I can see no reason why I won't be absolutely as much in love with this book as I have been with the other Levidian Publications books that I've got. And I kind of have a, a habit, I hope I don't do it here, but if I do, forgive me, have a habit of calling publishers presses. Levidian Press instead of Levidian Publications. If I do that, gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not that I intentionally want to do it, it's just that I'm dumb. Anyway, I'll open this mother up, and right off the bat, you see that Brian James Freeman, Levidian Publications, <clears throat> has taken notes. You've got a package, a book in a box, that could withstand shelling, bombs, storms, football, all sorts of stuff, and still get your book to you in good condition. Foam, that ain't your granddaddy's bubble wrap. And we got the die cut book in the foam and it's upside down. And right off the bat, be beautiful, be beautiful. Let's get it out of here. Good snug, tight fit. Get it out without making too much of a mess. And hey, it looks like my number dash dash or number 11, either it's dash dash equals, my number equals 11. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, it is beautiful. I ought to just look at it myself. Uh, there's the, the back of the slipcase. Some of you people out there I've noticed put stuff on the shelf the wrong way. And this ought to keep you happy because when you put the book on the shelf the wrong way, the back of the slipcase tells you the, <laughs> what the title is, uh, who the author is, and who the publisher is. So the slipcase is stamped with hot foil. Ouch. It, it is hot. Ouch. It's hot. Now, I want to get this plastic off. Plastic is for shipping. It's not for my shelves. And I'm going to take this plastic off with a very sharp knife. I know it's a sharp knife because I sharpened it. I keep my knives sharp. And the, the problem is when you're cutting plastic off of a fragile, delicate object like a book, you worry about cutting the book. And I've got some perfect advice for not cutting the book. You get the knife to where it only cuts the plastic, but not the book. That's how you do it. Unless you drop it. Then if the plastic slips off and you drop it, you gotta have whoo, lightning flash reflexes, lightning fast reflexes to get it out. Now the thing, lots of things that I love about Levidian Publications and their books, their publications, Lots of things that I love about it, but this touch, to me, is something special. I love slip cases. I always have plain ones, cheap ones, fancy ones, expensive ones, elaborate, simple. I love them all. But one of the negatives about a slip case is it hides beautiful covers, it hides beautiful dust jackets, it, it hides stuff. It protects, looks good, but it hides stuff. This little die cut window right here is a tool to help show off stuff that you ordinarily might be hiding with a slip case. So I do love it. It is a nice touch that has come on, I think all of my other Levidian Publications books, unless I'm mistaken, but that's a, a, an amazing, a nice touch. Thank you, great idea. And it's not just a hole that somebody cut in there. Look there, It's uh, can you see it? It's feels finished. It's beveled. It, it feels, the inside of that edge feels the same as this. It's not something that somebody just cut out. So there you go. That's it. Let's set this to the side for right now. Set it on top of other stuff that I got. And look at here, number 11. Nice. All right. So there is my spine. King of Shadows, Robert McCammon. Levidian Publications and the front cover artwork. I love this. I love this image. It looks really good. Uh, and the back. I haven't seen this picture yet. Makeup and photography, I believe. This is our good friend, Robert McCammon, I believe. Maybe it isn't. 
it's hard to tell, but the makeup uh, does disguise. If it is, I don't know. I could probably look a little bit farther, a little bit deeper and find out, but the, uh, the price for this book was 125 bucks. It sold out in seven ish hours. And, uh, uh, I'm glad, really glad I was able to get one. I didn't mention it before. The artwork on the dust jacket is Vincent Chong artwork and phenomenal like always. Now I believe what I read, 10 interior illustrations, black and white, also done by artist Vincent Chong. We'll take a look at all 10 if we can. Before we move on, there are our solid colored end papers. Uh, no real texture to, to mention, to note, just a thicker black paper. And here's our, here's one of the things that I come for, one of the things that I buy limited edition books for is this right here. I love limitations, I love signatures, and I love it when they put the signature on a beautiful limitation page. So this one has cover art from, colored cover art from the, the dust jacket of the book. Mine is number 11. It is signed with a blue Sharpie type marker by Robert McCammon. He is one of my favorite authors. If you haven't figured it out already, if you watch enough of these things, you'll figure out, I got a lot of favorite authors. And I, that doesn't diminish the importance of those folks. I just like a lot of people. I like a lot of stuff. I like a lot of things. I got a lot of favorites all the way around. Uh, I don't know if I showed you. On the front cover of this book, when you remove the dust jacket, it looks good. You get artwork. It's not plain Jane. It, it looks too sweet so you have the uh the hot foil stamped artwork title and author on the cover and it just all the way around looks so good there's the spine of the book this is another one of those books man publishers keep putting out books where i say i kind of want to have two one with the dust jacket on the shelf one without i've actually kind of did that here with cardinal black from sst I ended up with a extra dust jacket, bought an extra numbered book, slapped the dust jacket on it, and I got two of the same book. If I were richer, if I had more wealth, that might be something I would do. I don't know. I like to say I would, but on the other hand, I'd also like to say I wouldn't spend money like that. But gosh, who knows? What else? What else do I want to talk about, y'all? Uh, the binding... Uh, people a lot of times will ask about the binding, and this is Smith's own binding there. I don't know how well you can tell by looking at the picture. There is a built-in satin ribbon page marker. Another nice touch, adds a little extra touch of class to a book. And I like, I like classy stuff because when you're a guy like me, you got to add all the class you can add because we just don't come with much on our own. So classing it up for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Some folks want to see the pages. What is it going to look like? What it looks like. Want to see the, the typeset size, the font size and margins and such as that. Well, there you go. That's what it looks like. If you're reading this book, that's what you're going to read. I don't usually read limited edition books. I usually read much more affordable copies. And I plan... Uh, I've got a couple of ways, a couple of things I might do. Alabama Booksmith is going to be selling signed trade edition copies from Lavidian Publications. So I probably will order one and have them ship me one. I also heard a rumor that at some point they're going to have Robert McCammon at Alabama Booksmith doing uh, in-person signings. And I got a place way up yonder in Fort Payne, Alabama, on the mountain, on the canyon, and it ain't all that far from Alabama Booksmith, so I might try to make an appointment to go see the illustrious Robert McKimmon and get him to sign some stuff. It means I gotta buy some stuff. Almost everything I've got from Robert McKimmon is signed, so to get him to sign stuff means I probably gotta buy stuff. And I got no problem with that uh, as long as I can find stuff to buy. But I'm looking for artwork here. I told you there are 10. 10 black and white interior illustrations. And I found number one, uh, opposite of page 78. Let's look at this Vincent Chong artwork. Don't cover it with my fingers. There you go. 
Awesome, man. Looks really good. Let's see if I can find nine more. I don't know. I feel, I feel the odds are not in my favor. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm guessing I'm probably going to find seven. Not that there aren't ten, but I'm just assuming that my fingers doing the walking, when I let my fingers do the walking, I'm liable to miss a few. One, two, miss a few. I'm not skipping them, but I kind of think I might accidentally miss them. I hope not. My goal is to show you all ten. My goal is also not to try to keep track of how many I look at or how many I find. So I'll find what I find. And uh, I love the artwork. I, there's something about, I think Levidian Publications is hurting the publishing business. That sounds bad. They're hurting it in a way that, uh, listen up, they make it hard to appreciate what you get from other people. Because I pay 125 bucks for this, and I get so much more than what I get when I pay 175 bucks from other publishers. I get so much more. So in a way, they're hurting it. They're hurting my ability to appreciate what I get from other publishers. And uh, so I, I'm joking. They're not ruining things. They're setting the bar higher. And that's what we need. We need people to raise that bar of what you get for your dollar, what you get for your book, what you get to put on your shelf. Uh, always trying to make make it better, I think is good. So no, they're not hurting the business, I'm just joking. They're making this stuff awesome. But here we go. All right, uh, what else, what else? I can't think of anything else, any other lies to tell, so just a matter of finding pictures. Here's a, here's a small one, I don't know, does that count? I might have missed some of these. If those count, then I've missed some because I'm sure uh, some of those ones got by me. I was looking for big stuff that goes all the way to the edge, and then I find a small one. So anyway, I would, uh, I would imagine I'm going to fail on the finding 10 illustrations task. So uh, how many have I found so far? For those of you keeping score at home, and the, the chapters are divided. They've got pictures here. I don't think that counts. However, I, uh, I ought to show you since I, I've skipped quite a few of them without showing you. I think I found all the full page illustrations and I think I've missed some of those smaller ones. Anyway, great work by Vincent Chung. I love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. Can't wait to read this book. I might not wait until I get a trade hardcover. I might try to get, I missed out, but I might try to buy the, uh, the, the ARC set that's out there. I've seen some people selling them, and I've also been way too late to jump on them. So I might try to buy the set if I can find it for not too much money. And in that case, if it comes with the King of Shadows, which I think it do, which I think it does, I'll probably read that. But I want to read the book. I don't want to wait too long. I love the, uh, I love the character. I love the author. I love the publisher. And uh, I guess that's love, love, love. That's what they say. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Can't stop saying love, love, love. It's good to be alive right about now. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Brian James Freeman, for helping me out. Even though I'm a dummy, you helped me out. Thank you. can think of no more lies to tell. So with that being said... Say la vie, baby. Oh.